issue. Uh, I had an article about the Ringley Show and how it moved and all that, and it gave some dimensions in there uh, of the big top. So it was kind of my thinking about those those dimensions. As you go along, you get a lot more pictures to work from. It's this model that I've always that have always the, the game plan. Let's put it this way: in starting to build the model was to pick a particular circus. And the one that was most predominant in my mind was Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey. So I started using them as as the focal point for all the model work. Um, I wrote an, I wrote a letter to Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. Now this is a kid now, only 13, 14 years old. And I typed it out one finger at a time on an old portable typewriter and mailed it to him and asked for, for permission to use their name on my models. And could I use the devices and so forth as, as a point to model from? In other words, could I measure the wagons and so forth? But believe it or not, they answered the letter, and I don't know where the letter went to. It's gotten lost there for all these years. But they said, no, you can't use the name, but you can copy the wagons. So that's the reason that I didn't use Ringing Brothers Barnum and Betty. And, and in retrospect, uh, they saved me a lot of time. Because if you write Ringling Brothers, Barnum Brothers, and Conscious on both sides of every wagon, every train car, I'd be about two years further behind than I am right now. So I kind of, so I got tied on, to, kind of into it gradually. My father wanted me to do a model railroad. They gave me a, a Lionel train like most parents did in that era. And uh, so, I, but I, you know, that didn't excite me too big. Um, the bigger scales are much better because you put more detail in them and they're not so small, not so easily broken. 